I'm not here to play on your fears. That's a role for the mainstream media and government. <laughs> you all know I can talk about protection as it relates to cyber, the cyber world, but today I'll talk about security as it relates to the real world. So picture in your mind walking down a dark street late at night alone. Wouldn't you feel better if you felt a little bit secure? Perhaps with pepper spray. How about another scenario? Imagine you're driving alone at night on a road trip and you decide to stop at a gas station. You have no idea where you're at. Wouldn't you feel a little bit secure with some pepper, a pepper gun? There are two types of defensive products. One is lethal and another is non-lethal. Guns being the primary lethal weaponry. Let's talk about guns for a moment. Can anybody think about any problems with guns? First, does anybody here not carry a gun with them most of the time? Maybe need a permit. I don't. I don't even own a gun. What are some other problems? There's two primary problems I could think of with owning a lethal firearm. The, the first problem is if you discharge your firearm in the city, there's automatically an investigation. Has anybody ever shot with your, with your firearm? Have you ever shot somebody in defending yourself? Because that leads me to the second problem, which is if you shoot somebody and either injure them or even kill them, that adds to the investigation. Do you think there's certain people in political offices who don't care if you're defending yourself? They don't care about your right to bear arms? Yes, of course. So if you kill someone, it doesn't matter if you're defending yourself or not. So that could add to the, to the uh, problem. We just don't know. Which is why I have come up here with non-lethal weaponry if you consider pepper spray as a weapon. I have all of these products here, and I don't need a permit to carry them by any state agency. So what I have first is a stun gun. It's a sim simple stun gun with a safety on it so that nobody can take it from you and use it without the safety in here. Stun guns come in all various sizes and bolts, meaning more power. <laughs> Does, do I have any volunteers to come up here? Okay, I guess not. But actually, <laughs> that would be bad. And there's speech. Short speech. Yeah. There, yeah. there is a pin that I pulled out and I pushed the button and it's inoperable. Put it back in, there it goes. It also comes with a flashlight, which is handy, especially in, at night. See what's your danger. Here is a, another stun gun. And all of these products up here I have for sale at discount using, using algorithmic solutions to determine the best discount I can give you. This here is a lipstick stun gun. A little bit smaller, but it's enough to knock somebody to the ground. There's also a flashlight that comes with it, too. Now, men, I don't know if you'll be that interested in these, but <laughs> they make perfect gift options and stocking stuffers for your wives, girlfriends, and anybody. Significant others. Significant others, yes. I have another stun gun here. They come in various patterns and designs. It's the same principle. There's actually a, a switch here that's the safety for it. But there's the flashlight, and then you put the lever one notch more, and you get the stun gun. So, again, anybody want to volunteer? Okay. Now I come to the pepper sprays. They will temporarily blind an attacker or Perhaps a dog, I'll have to look up, look that one up. But it, it usually lasts for about half an hour, and it's enough for you to escape. I have a 
a demonstration here with this one here is just water because what one part of owning a pepper spray bottle is knowing how to use it because you don't want to because it has a safety and you don't want to be out in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden you can't get it up you can't get it to work so you just push that and you spray it and then you just put the safety back on these particular pepper sprays come in various colors and sizes but these are keychains so they're handy to come go with you and they're six dollars today which is actually at a discount because they're normally ten dollars <coughs> something else I brought here since we're talking about defensive products we do have hidden cameras cameras pin cameras all types of over 500 different products this might not be for you but more for like policemen and bring that out <laughs> there's no law against any of this yet that I know of there might be regulations of course but yeah. uh, I'll get that in later <laughs> obviously there are many features and benefits to some of these products for example the mace pepper gun can shoot up to 20 feet in my opinion it's much better than having a gun and it's sixty dollars for this normally it's seventy so which is also less expensive than owning a gun too So the, the distance that it can shoot is one of the features and obviously you have that benefit, that extra benefit of, of having the extra time to be able to get that out and use it if necessary. Now going to the cameras aspects of all of this, you can buy cameras either for small businesses, for your homes. Hidden cameras can be useful, especially if you have a nanny or if you just need to watch your kids activities because maybe they're supposed to be doing something that they're not and so on obviously you want to respect privacy and all that but it if you do want camera sets there are deals that we can make perhaps free installation but we'll have to talk about that I have I have catalogs here too that actually has everything that that we need but for the discount just give me a call I'll start right now just asking if you have any questions well, I'm handing these out. I go to the courthouse a lot. Are there any of those allowed in the courthouse? Because I have to leave my gun in the car. <laughs> the pepper sprays will be for the keychains. <laughs> Is there anything specific that you're Oh, yeah, they do. I do take my pepper spray off my keychain, too. I don't think they allow that. Well, what, so none of that That's stuff would, yeah, none of that stuff. With the stun guns, those wouldn't be allowed in the courthouse. So would I don't know. I could look that up. Walt's shaking his head now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Obviously, if they don't see it, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> in the courthouse, well, I don't know why. You yeah, there is a, there is safety. I mean, things okay. that you go through, just like the airport. Oh yeah, the metal yeah. detector. Yeah. Right on. You said the the pepper gun was twenty feet. What's the? Yeah. How close does it have to be to use a smaller pepper spray? No, I don't know the answer. Do you know the answer? Uh, how close like you have to be? Six feet, I think. Mm -hmm. six yeah, feet it's like six feet. Closer than I would want to be. Yeah, six six to eight feet. And they expire after a year, too, don't they? Do they? I don't know. They expire. They don't expire. These are good questions. These are good questions. I'll go ahead and look that up. Like and I'll start putting this, these items away because I've got 60 seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> and. Mm -hmm. What temperatures can you store? I'll look that up. Operate. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll look that up. Road in a car. What happens in a hot car or cold? It explodes. Right. It explodes. In Oklahoma heat, leave it in a car. Not a good thing. Yeah, I imagine it will cause some kind of effect on it. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind having one of these guns in my car. So I'll, I'll look that up. 
Well, there's also packages for ones that you put in the visor 